Hi there, this is the third part of this uh, tutorial series making a simple platform game in Blender and in this part what we're going to do is make the player character jump. Okay, so first of all I'm going to select the player character so simply right clicking on the cuboid that represents the player and we're going to look at the logic bricks at the bottom of the screen here. It's going to minimise all of the bricks that I've set up already and I'm going to set up some more so that the player character jumps up when I press the space key on my keyboard. So I'm going to add a sensor, it's going to be a keyboard sensor, and that's going to be set to recognise the space bar being pressed. And I'm also going to add a motion actuator, and I'll just join those up, and again automatically it places the controller in here. Now what we need to look at is the settings for the motion actuator. Now because this object here is a dynamic object, um, that's the physics type of this object is set to dynamic, you see this over in the properties panel here and we set that up in the previous part of the tutorial, because it's a dynamic object it has a whole bunch of other settings under here. Okay, And the setting we're interested in is this one called force. And again it's got three settings for x, y and z axis. Now we want the character to be able to jump upwards, which is on the z-axis, so I'm going to set a number here for the force uh, for that jump. And I'm going to set it to 250 because I found that's a kind of reasonable setting. You can experiment with different numbers depending on how high you want your character to jump. Okay, so let me just tell you once again what we did there. We set up a keyboard sensor that recognises the spacebar being uh, pressed. It's joined to a controller, which then in turn is joined to a motion actuator. And then here we've set the force on the z-axis to 250. Now let me just show you what happens when we try that out. Okay, so let's just test this. Press P to play. The character falls down. It can move around just as we set up earlier. And let's see what happens when we press the space key. Ah. Okay, so the character has zoomed off into orbit, has disappeared off our screen. Now, there's a really good reason for that. Basically, if you hold down the pre uh, hold down the space bar, it's going to continuously apply a force in the z-axis um, to that that object. So it's just going to continue flying upwards on the z-axis. Now we need to stop that. We need the character to jump only when they're touching the ground. Okay. So that's what we're going to set up now. Um, now earlier, in the previous part of this tutorial, we added a property to this ground object here. Okay, um, If we look at that property, we called this the ground property. And we're going to use that. Okay, So selecting the player again, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to add another sensor. But this time, it's going to be a collision sensor. And we're going to detect a collision between the player object and any object that has a property which is set to ground. Okay. And we're going to join that to the previous AND controller. Like so. So that means that the player can only jump when the space bar is pressed and the player is in collision with the ground, when he's actually touching the ground. So let's test that now. We press P, we find that when we press space, the character only jumps up so far and then falls back to the ground. Okay, so if I run forward, you'll see I can jump off the edge of the platform. Okay, and that ends this part of the tutorial.